right, all right, all right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome to the first part of Bible Z. My name is Azar. Thank you for, for all those who can attend and uh, tap in. Thank you. Father God, let's open up with a, with a quick prayer. I'm going to start off. It's uh, Luke. Let's go to Luke. Uh, Luke four eighteen. Heavenly Father, may I request the firstborn of the creation that to manifest His presence and to help to use His tongue and to utter the sacred things from your heart and from the kingdom. Angels, please uh, join at this time. Grand Master, make your presence be felt and shown even through this camera. We open up a portal and give legality to put the kingdom of God to be here at this moment. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. He have anointed me to preach the gospel to, to the poor and have sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captive and recovery of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. This is the words of the Grand Master. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. This means that I know my assignment, I know my task on this earth, and it cannot be revolted. And I humbly submit to this task, to, to, to this assignment, whether I feel like doing the will of God or not. The will of God is in place and it will manifest. Today's topic of the first, the first part of a three-part series called Yea or Gods. Now, before you crucify me and throw stones and judge me, you know, because I may, be, I may have uh, ruffled some feathers of some uh, relig religious people here. Hear me out. Okay. This, this, this is the first, this thing that you're part of right now. Bible Z is the first multi-dimensional study of its kind. And so we're going to go. Let me call upon consciousness from the seventh dimension. Could you please look up from the Bible or Tesseract the ancient saying in 82 6? Please read out loud from the ancient saying in Psalm 82 6, please. I have said, they are gods, and all you are creations from the Most High. Okay, repeat that again, one more time. I have said, they are gods, and all you are creations from the Most High. All right, in Psalm 82, 6, it says, I have said, they are gods and are children of the Most High. They are gods and are children of the Most High. All right, let's, let's go. To um to another ancient saying, what is this one? In John ten thirty four, okay. John ten thirty four. In the seventh dimension, please read from the Bible of Tesseract. What does it say? Please read out loud. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law? I have said you are God. All right, thank you. Let's read it again. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law? I have said you are God. Now, 
it is not written in your law i have said ye are god this is now this is in john 10 34 the same thing that was said in, in psalm um what's that in psalm 82 6 ye are gods so let's let's break this down what does the grand master what is this transmission azar let's go deep it is not saying that we are the Godhead or the source of all creation. We are ethereal beings or spiritual beings, right? We are divine beings materialized into matter. We are sound condensed or the word made flesh only. Only because of the creator enables it, okay? We are not the source and be of everything. Okay, let's keep this in mind. God has to be the center, the creator of, of all existence. We cannot fool ourselves and think we are high and mighty, okay? And that we are above all. All I'm saying is that we are divine being, that we are condensed sound, condensed light, materialized. That's it. We are dust that speaks. Dust that speaks. Stardust, rock dust, mineral dust, meteorite dust. We are creation. We are created being from the creator. We are projections of God's thoughts manifested. Okay? Thank you too, Azar.